All right, what is the map? The map is Rivertown Advanced, and we are the Magenta player, one out of five players in this match. We're going last in the turn order, and it is a, a Fog of War and Blizzard's capital mode, and these are the bonuses, three, four, three, two, 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 three, five, three, five, four, and three. Um, this blizzard right here makes this plus three a one point hold. Red player should probably go for that, I imagine. The black player goes inside of it, that's wild. Okay, that's a weird, weird play. I feel like you're a novice. You had a great play to cap right here on this natural one point hold for Western Ruins. So I could instead cap right here. I see everything in here. If nobody caps here, I can cap right here, push back into a one point hold on this Western Ruins, and in the future, push into this for what would be a one two point hold on Merchant District, Merchant District, which is a plus four. This Blizzard makes this a one point hold, which uh, Purple should go for. Um, this Blizzard doesn't do anything. This right here is a uh, two point hold, one and one right there, two point hold there. This uh, plus two is a two point hold right there and right there. This plus three is a two point hold right there and right there. This is also a two point hold, plus five Fishing District right there and right there. Where did Purple and Yellow cap? I don't see your caps. Nobody capped on this, that's huge for us. That's huge for us, lucky, lucky. Um, this is also a one point hold right here. This one is that's a that's a stronger than mine, but uh, I think Yeah, it's wild that you went for that. I guess you wanted that one point hold even if you had a bad cap on it We cap you should go for this though. It's the same bonus, right? We ca you can cap on the front. I think we cap for sure here, right? I mean, there's a lot of troops to deal with in the way there, but that's exactly what we're gonna go for We cap for this maybe the black player wanted to go for this for the quick one point hold here and then try for that later I don't know but that's that's a really strong start for us. One of the better starts. I think the best start would have been if I had like a play for this one point hold on this plus four. One, one extra point, right? Pushes us out there. They're going to work on get that as soon as they can. So the black player is going for this bonus. And as far as I know, nobody's fighting them for it. I'm over here. Where are the other three? I don't see any of your capitals. Probably somebody's going for this, I'd imagine. That's very good. Chances are somebody might go for that as well. I could grab this one point hold, push up, hit this, and then grab that. And that'd be a plus five bonus on a one two point hold won't be my cap that's not bad or I, I honestly just go for this plus four uh, okay purple is so purple somewhere in here i wasn't i didn't see where they came from but purple's either here or here tacking around a bunch maybe scouting the board but i mean purples i don't see them anywhere in here so i think purple's probably going for this i don't know why they're attacking out so much they want to check out what's over here i don't know they didn't have visuals over there. Maybe they want to scout out, see if they want to go for this. I don't know. So purple, so the black player's here. The purple player's here. The black player will eventually hold this, one point hold for this, push all the way through this, and they'll have a two point hold, because this blizzard here, on uh, a plus eight, which is actually really good for them. Better than my plus two hold for a plus seven. Pretty close though. And mine has the advantage of having a cap on the front. Let's see what yellow did. I think yellow, what would yellow be doing? Is yellow... I mean, it's quite possible purple and yellow could be fighting in here. Um, I didn't see yellow in here. If yellow or purple were capped here, they probably would have gone for this. There might be no cap in here at all. It's a two, still a two-point hole for plus five. Um, they'd be taking their time to grab this. They could be. They could already have this. They could have their cap right here. Grab, grab. Fortify back. They could have a plus uh, two on the first turn. The red player's attacking over here. They might just be attacking out to grab cards and vision on the board. Um... Some, a lot of players do that. Sometimes I do that. I, I think they're just moving the troops out of the way because the black players can get that eventually. They want to attack out on the board, get vision. Vision's useful. Um, what if I should cat attack out for vision? Some troops for us because we're going last in the turn order. I don't think I can get this in one turn. Oh, how do we do this? Do I... I think I stack here and attack backwards. It would be the thing to do. We hit this, and then we hit this over to here. And then we fortify this back over to here. I don't think anybody's going to hit our seven. And then I don't think it's likely... Only five for you because you've lost some territories. I don't think it's likely that yellow, purple, or yellow, purple, or black will attack my three here for a card. I think that'll be fine. Black player's going for that plus three. Might attack my two there. Good dice. They get it. Do they? They do, and they lose two in the process. Um, you only started five. Which means instead of going to grab this quicker, you went for this. It's possible they capped here and some. Did I see the entirety of this? Did somebody else cap up here and I didn't notice? I feel like going for that would be the better play. These are all players, right? Nobody's left and bought it out. Seems like nobody has left and bought it out. Six for purple, because they don't have their bonus yet, okay? I don't know why they attacked out to here. They're scoping. Purple? Maybe purple's in here. I mean, purple's there, purple's there. 
Maybe purple has is going for this bonus, and they had a big stack down here, and they rolled it out because maybe yellow or red had their cap in there. I mean, if I'm lucky, black caps here, uh, purple caps in here, red caps in here, and three of the enemy players are all fighting over here, while myself and yellow, or myself and red, or just, you know, seven troops for you tells me you would you have there? You get three by default, two for every cap is five, and then you have that plus two is seven. So either you have this plus two, and you're right here, and your cap's, your cap's probably in here, not necessarily, but probably. Or you, um... Oh, um, ooh, are you talking about this? They're trying to grab this, but they got bad dice, trying to grab that. They might be going for this bonus. Maybe they have their cap here, and they got this bonus. They want this one next? I don't know. I don't think yellow knows I'm here yet. They, they, unless I attack yellow here, and forgot. Red's attacking over there. What's going on? What are you up to? I don't love how much vision I'm losing across the board, but that's kind of how, uh... Fog of War works this game. They're attacking back this way, which means somebody followed in after them. I don't know who. Maybe the black player grabbed this bonus and took extra troops trying to grab that too? I don't know. All I know is I got my eyes on this right here. Also, um, uh, I said this last video, but I'll say it again. I'm no longer streaming uh, Risk on Twitch. I'll just be streaming single player games on there because um, we uh, there's a stream sniper problem going on. It's not just my channel. I thought I thought at first, like, I was in my head, am I just playing really bad last few streams? Is it stream snipers? Um, Turns out it's it's there's a stream server problem. Can I get this this turn? Um, there's other content creators having a big problem with it. I don't know if I can get this this turn. Definitely get yellow out of here for sure. I'm gonna try and get this turn if I can get lucky. Got like three behind there. We get good dice, maybe. Um, get fantastic dice. Hey, let's go. That's exactly what we want to have happen. What's that? Round three. We have claimed our bonus plus nine. Means you have, I think that'd be just, you have this, but not this, if I had to guess. Red might have come in and broke you. You might not have had it. Somebody else's might, capital might be in there. But now I've got a, a capital on the front of my plus three. It's huge for us. Black player seems disinclined to hit here, stack here to hit me, because, what well, yeah, they put their nine here, 10 v nine, almost, most of the time we'll lose. Not a great play for them. Nice, come back and take it back next turn. Mutually sure destruction. They're better off folks young, fortifying this plus three. And getting this. Honestly, this is not a bad starting thing. Get that plus three, two point hold. Most people won't bother trying to break you early because most people are busy in the first few rounds trying to get their things. Not a terrible play to go for that early. But if you get greedy to defend it for too long. Purple put one over there. Why? Are you using that for a card grab? Did you bot out? You're still here. You just attack. You wanted a card grab over there. And you probably want to keep vision on the board over here. I could attack here for a card to see what you got going on. But I don't know that I want yellow. I mean, yellow's probably figured out them over here, right? By me attacking there? They don't have to assume that. They saw me stack five here and hit there. Seven for you. I imagine pretty soon you're going to attack there for a card regardless, right? As you get slowly pushed out the rest of the board. I could try and grab this, but I don't want to try... It's, a two, it's better for me to go for this. This is my next best thing right here. Yellow's here. We definitely want to break... We definitely want to hit that three to make sure yellow doesn't have this bonus. It's possible yellow's cap's in here, or they're trying to grab this bonus in addition to this. We definitely want to do some scoping out in here. We smack that three out of there, because this is what I want next. I got my one point hold on this. Next, I want to have a two point hold, either right here or right here on all this. I think purple and black are like really going to war with each other. No, that's red. Purple said good luck. Red's attacking. I think maybe red's attacking purple. I think these three are going crazy over there. Nine troops for us. We stack them all right here, and we will slap this out of here in case yellow just grabs this bonus. I think they've been trying to grab this bonus. We don't want them to have that. Do I attack more through here? I think we attack a little bit more. I don't think we're trying to hold it. Okay, maybe I could have tried to grab it that turn. I just wanted to see what's going on there. We made the right play. We made sure Yell doesn't have that bonus. And now we have vision of what's going on in there. I could have maybe tried to grab it that turn. Um, you know, slap, 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 split. Then I, then I have like maybe like six here and five here. Less than I lose some troops along the way. Um, my cap would have been too undefended. So... Just attacking there to get the vision to see if there's a capital in there or not, it's worth it. Now we know Yellow's game plan. Their game plan is to grab this and then try for this. Instead of like going for this or this. I don't know why. I feel like wouldn't it be better to ex extend somewhere like nearby? I mean, well, I mean, this is a, a two-point hold for North Watch. I mean, that, it's a four, that's why. It's, it's a two-point hold for a plus four. That's why they went for it. They had their plus two. They want to get another bonus. They're, I think they're mostly staying on this side of the board. I think it's me and yellow over here and the other three over there. I think for them, they they saw a plus two hold on a plus four, not realizing my cap's right there. Now they know um, that they're not going to be able to hold that. They might fight me for it. They won't win. 
Um, they can stop me from getting it if they really want to commit, but they're not going to get it. They are before me in the turn order, but I will get my card trades after them, so I'll have bigger card trades. So, we just try to beat yellow in the 1v1 here for this. And for Lucky, purple also gets involved. I'm worried purple eventually does grab this if people aren't paying attention. I don't think yellow paying any attention to this. Plus, yellow's right there. They got no vision. Yellow seems to be still trying for this, and they're trying for it in a weird way. You're still here. You're still a player. The way you're placing your troops tells me you might be a beginner. That's a weird way to place your troops. Or you're not actually trying to grab it back. You're trying to make it hard for me to get it. Your mission here is to make it hard for me to grab this bonus. Just, I mean, it's not a terrible play. Um, but the downside is you might be leaving your cap a little bit undefended. So yellow stacked nine troops in here to prevent me from getting this, but they're also not trying to grab it for themselves. Honestly, right now, it might I may be okay. I might be okay with this neither of us having this. I could try to sneakily grab this. They don't seem to like care to attack these. Ten troops for us. I could maybe get away with this. Um we, st we stack. It's worth a shot. At least get black and red out of here, right? Do a little bit. This is two point hold. Um, put a couple more over here. A couple more over here. I doubt we get away with this, but yellow won't see that we're doing this. They won't know that we're doing this. And I don't need to break them. They're trying, they're trying to block me from holding that bonus. They might not expect me to go over here and do this. Maybe we hold this. It's quite possible the purple player stacks here and breaks me. If they do nothing in the world, the purple player has their own problems with black over here without fighting a war with me. The black player is getting plus 12, which means I think they still have this bonus. And they just secured that, gives them a plus 6, plus a capital is plus 8, plus if they have a bunch of ter 12 territories, would give them plus 12, right? 12 territories, would 12, 13, 14 territories gives you an extra 4, gives you 4 the start instead of 3, capital plus 2 is 6, this uh, is 9, this is 12, so that would make sense how they're getting their troops there. I mean, if we could push purple out, if we could push everybody out of this side, except for... Uh, I think black player has that. Get purple and red out of here, so it's just the only people who might decide to go for me are yellow or black. Would be good. Uh, you know, it's, it's a race to, for me to conquer my side versus probably the black player to conquer their side. I need to make sure... I know yellow's here and a bunch over here. Might be a new player considering... Uh, I mean... Is that a good player or not? Purple's down to five. Okay, so purple's not doing great. The black player's kind of winning the race to secure the board. It's not ideal. I need the, but the red player still, maybe the red player slows them down some more. How many has the red player been getting? I'm worried purple bots out here. No, no, because they're still good. Ooh, watermelon dice. Cool. I need the purple player to buy me time. I need the purple player to buy me time. And also not hit here, because I want vision to see if yellow's ever going for that. How many troops do you get? Seven. What if I offer them an alliance? What if, offer them an alliance. Oh, I think they're still going for it. They're going to go for it. Well, I'm not going to let you hold that. Like, just, that's just not going to happen. Oh, they just want to get a card. They just want to get a card. They're still trying for the bonus, but the, the plan worked so far. They didn't notice that we went for this. Purple doesn't seem to care. And we can honestly just keep holding that for a few more turns. And, you know, I mean, it's only plus two per turn, but it adds up. Red trades in early, probably in a move of desperation. How many troops do you have? You started with uh, six troops total. You still have your cap. I don't think anybody's lost their cap. It says one. Yeah, leader one. Nobody's lost their cap yet. You traded it early. I don't know why. Uh, 12 troops for us. Now they should know I have more. Do I try and push you out of here now? Hmm. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I think, um... We sh... Do we... I need to get a card somewhere. I can get a card over here. Put three there. And uh, we'll get a card there. I can worry too much about it. Shore this up a little bit. Keep most of them over here. Play it slow. We got two bonuses here. Yellow doesn't even know about this. Um, I'm not going to greed for that just yet. We'll chill. And fortify. No, no, don't fortify. Or don't skip fortify this over to here. That's fine. I'm I'm in a uh, I'm in a decent position here. You're getting plus thirteen. How many did I get? Um, I got plus twelve. So myself and the black player, the strong players on the board right now, I think. So let's not greed to go too fast. We are doing all right here. Eventually, I would like to push the purple out of this side of the board, but not yet. It's also possible they try to eliminate purple and screw up and feed us the kill on them over here. Nobody's going for this at all. But, I mean, we could try to sneakily go for that, but, I mean, they'll figure it out. They card trade on uh, five, force card trade on five, okay. Honestly, I kind of like having the vision over here if I start attacking over here a bunch. 
like, I, if I try to grab, there's, there's a chance, if I try to grab this, maybe purple or red decides to fight me for it. Whereas, like right now I've got the black player holding this. If I get purple and red out of here, then, like, we're fine. Then the black player, uh, then they're, like, red and, red and purple and black are all fighting over there. I beat yellow in the 1v1. It'll be okay. I've been getting a bigger bonus than yellow, I'm getting farther and farther ahead. They seem fixated in trying to hold this. They didn't realize I had this. I mean, that plus two is not the big of a deal. I'd stack a lot of troops over there. If they keep putting more and more over here, I'm, I would like to have vision of their capital, but they're not attacking out because they don't want to pin their capital, which tells me they probably know what they're doing. I also don't want to pin my capital. So, I mean, if I eventually, you know, if they attack here to grab this, I take my capital. Once they attack this right here, I stack everything in my capital. Bam, 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 bam. Split. Put most back here. They card trade of five. I'll get a card trade of ten. And I mean, they really want they should really want to grab and hold this. I can but I can beat them in a 1v1 because I'm getting a bigger card trade than them. And I got my I got a bigger bonus. Uh two bonuses. Ooh, they stack two over there. That's why they're trying to get a card over there. They want to keep my capital pinned over here. Oh, okay, okay. They want to they're trying to card trade over there. No, that's fine. In fact, they're so obsessed with not attacking out here, I can hit here, grab this bonus, uh, defend here and here. Ooh, red tried to get a quick card over there. I think we uh, get red out of here, and we two-point hold this. And we don't worry about you. Force card trade on five here. We trade in this. There we go. And we will... Um, we don't want you getting through here. We want... Um, I want to grab this here as well. Hit there, leave three, hit there. Maybe a couple more here. I don't want to... That'll be fine. And the rest defends my cap. We'll get red out of our side of things. One less wild card over here. And now we have another bonus. And we got enough troops there that probably purple doesn't want to break. And that's great. And now we're 14 for you, so you got more. Did you take a cap? No, one out of five. Easy way to tell if somebody's grabbed somebody's cap is right here. Nobody's lost their cap yet. And now we're getting more and more of the board. Now we are getting an extra plus two per turn. One downside is my troops are kind of scattered all over across the board, but the red's out of here. And what I can actually do is, I mean, once I slam, I could slam here Eventually, like this eight, this seven, this nine, could all stack right here in front of your capital, which will probably incentivize you to attack it. But once you do attack it, then your capital's pinned, right? You want their troops pinned on their capital. Twelve troop trading for you. We want. To, we don't want to rush things. We have the advantage on yellow. I think at this point we probably have similar or more troops. I think more troops. They've done a little less attacking than I have. But, yes, yeah, see, here's the problem. As the, when these guys card trade, sometimes they're, like, s putting things on here by accident as they card trade. So the sooner we get these guys out, the better. I think we probably want to hit here um, for a card next turn. I don't like hitting that four. But if I get that out of there, then there's less chance of them getting card trade, putting two more there. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Two, a couple turns from another two more. But I wanted, Maybe I start hitting yellow. Sorry, I'm thinking. Um... You're taking your turn. Maybe hit yellow. Where do we hit yellow? Where do we hit yellow? You're already low enough on territories. Um, even if I take all these out. I mean, I could just try and grab this next. Hit these. Oh, they go for it. Hey, 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 buddy. What's up? All right, they went for it. They went for it. Aha. Uh -huh. They're starting to get desperate. Yeah, that's, that's actually fine. Now we're going to hit this and try and get another uh, hold here. Eventually, they can move their capital out and probably break a lot of my bonuses. But I feel like we're pretty far ahead. How many troops did you get in your turn? Whoops. It's 14 is for us. It's huge. You got uh, three. Reds lost Reds lost their capital. So we took it. We need to hurry up and deal with yellow. What if your cap's weak? Um, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to worry about... Uh, I mean, I don't actually have to hold this. I just have to knock you out of it. We hit this. Honestly, we can leave 20 there. We can hit this over to here. We hit here. We hit uh, this over here. We hit this over here. And uh, do we call that good? I mean, the black player wants to go for us. I mean, they might just do that. What I can do is I can fortify like this. 
one less point to hold. We're slowly block blocking the L player. If the black player wants to go here and slam me, they can. What if I offered you a truce? This is all I was worried about. So if I did that, the black player decides to stack there and go for me. They do have their own problems with the with the red and yellow player. Okay, they're just trying to match me. That's fine. Yellow says, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love how they like they have these little Discord things that just randomly change the little Discord thing there, saying communication. Alright. I think the yellow maybe the yellow player's apologizing to me for trying to like grab that territory? I don't know. I feel like the yellow player's in trouble. Right now I need to worry about the black player being strong over here. I don't want to anger them. It's it's useful for me to have one point defend here against yellow coming through, as opposed to, you know, two. But that does make the black player much more wary of me. Plus seven for you. So I think so the black player took the red player's cap. Purple's still in this. And somebody bought it out. Um well, yellow's still here. Red bought it out. Purple's still here. So red's a bot. I need purple to not give up and become a bot. If red gives up and become if 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 the purple Okay, they're still here, good. If purple bots out, um then uh, the black player has this entire side while well, I haven't cleaned up yellow yet. Which would be bad. The yellow player is playing pretty defensively and well. We need to... I mean, I could hit this here. Hit this here. Fortify this here. Oh, that's not... Oh, wait, that's, that's good. The red... Uh, purple just eliminated red. Which means they get their cards. They get another card trade in. And that helps them last longer against the black player to buy me time. This is good. I card trade here for 20. Or, yeah, it says 15, but it'll be 20 my turn. I could card trade for 20, stack it on here, and roll 40 in, see if they're vulnerable to attack. If they have a lot there, we roll it back. If they don't, we take them. Also, if they card trade, then we don't. Never mind. Okay, they card trade. They card trade, so we don't. They'll have probably 40 or 50 there. They have 63, that's a problem. They lost 10 more than I did. That's huge, actually, because I still have 17 right there. You can attack that? No, that's fine, actually. 20 over here. They have one, 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 one. They have 28 troops. I've got 57. I've got a car trade of 25 coming in. This is huge. This is a desperate last second play from yellow. They're trying to split their troops there. They're trying to break my bonuses. This is good. As long as the black player leaves me alone, my 25 stack devastates them right now. Yeah, that's fine. They break that. They even They don't even... They even know about these. They fortified like 11, so back I get plus 10. That's huge. About to damage you a lot right now. We're going to not worry about this or this or these. We're going to worry about taking their cap. We're actually going to get, we'll leave purple over there. We can actually kill guard purple, maybe. We're going to take these 43 here. We are going to yoink this bonus from you. You will no longer be having this bonus. Thank you very much. Um, I don't care if you break that bonus right now. What I want is to uh get this... Uh, maybe I want to fortify something else where you hit over to here. And we will then uh, fortify this nine over to here, I think. Purple might break me there, but if I don't, yellow breaks me, that's fine. I'd rather have, them, have to have them push through that nine. You get plus 20. Problem is, I need, I need, I think yellow's trying to like stall me the same way purple's trying to stall black. I need, I need, to, I need purple to really hold out and do well here. I need purple, a black player to not mess with me. If the black player hits me right now, I'm screwed. I'm busy deal with yellow. I've got a massive lead on yellow. A 32 traded. If, if black player goes for me right here, it's kind of like a jeej. They want to truce up. I think the yellow player is trying to truce with the black player. I just realized I should have fortified this over to here so I can hit their cap. I need yellow just gone. I need them gone is the thing. Um, but I mean, do I? Have, uh, I don't have a cartridge either. I can fortify here next. I need to start. I need to start getting a big old army here to hit their cap. But if I fortify off cap, they might attack me and get the attacker's bonus. Do I just let them hold this? I could get. Um, if I get purple out of here, I still don't hold that plus three. Um, I mean, they if if they I, ideally they try to go for this bonus here for a plus three instead of a plus two. They had their slight improvement for them. Um, we want to not. We want to leave, honestly, we want to try and kill guard purple. That way the black player, if they do get to uh, take out purple, they don't get them right away. 35 troop trading from purple is huge. Hopefully they leave me be. They're kind of hyper fixed in the black player. We got 1v1 happen over here, 1v1 happen over here. I think yellow switching over here was a good trade as far as um, positioning goes. But it cost him a lot of troops. And now I've got 82 troops to their 
uh, 18. I just wish I had fortified this four, because next turn I could have stacked like 40 here and maybe take him out. I might just have to fortify here next turn. And, um, uh, you know, st we stack three here, hit this for a card. Leave our cat pinned so it can't go that way. Nothing matters. Three here to get a card. Uh, the rest stack here, and then we fortify out here. When they don't have a card trade. Um, well, this turn. Next turn, they might have a card trade on three if they get lucky. But that'll still be a lot of trips right here. It depends. They get plus five. If they go for this. Hopefully, they go for this and don't get it this turn. Yeah, they can't get it this turn. They just want to get a card there. They're patient. 15 troops for us. Yeah, I could have had it this turn. 24. We'll get it next turn. Um, we'll get them next turn or the turn after, I think. We stack these here. I mean, I mean, what are the odds of me? I've got a 17 stack right as... Oh, that's 0% chance. I don't like that. We'll get them next turn. We'll fortify this over to here. Next turn, my 47. Even if they card trade. If they card trade... Oh, the card trades are huge. I don't have a card trade. That's a problem. Um... If they get a card trade on three and I don't, that's a problem. We might have to fortify back to our cap. Because, I mean, if they, get, if they get a card trade on... The card trades are bigger than I thought. 40, a, a card trade of 40 gives you uh, 59 plus 5 is 64. 64 slams, that takes that, but then you're split. But I'm pretty weak. Your 64 versus my 96. The fact that I, get a card, I don't have a card trade three is a problem. I think we need to fortify back to our cap and it's going to take a little bit longer than we thought. If they get a card trade, if they get a card trade on three here, I'm in trouble. I need what, to really speed this along. I should have left these here last turn. Like if I had had that last turn, I could. I, I messed up by protecting the cap when I should have uh, just left them out there, knowing they didn't have a card trade on two. But now they'll. I oh mean, a card trade from three is really bad for us. I think we recover from a card trade from three on them because they have 69, 96. I don't think they can fully take me out. I can survive another turn until I hopefully get a card trade on four. Definitely get one of five. We're still kill guarding. Purple there. I need to fortify this seven back into the action at some point. If they get a card trade here for 65, hits this 47, they lose 30, I'll have 47. That gives them a 30, that gives them like a 15 troop gain on me. They can then hit this. Hmm. I need you guys to buy time. Um, They've given up on trying to hold these bonuses because they know I'm not going to let them. They, they, they're, they're slowly working on this one, but they don't want to go for too quick. They want to protect this. I could have the 17 soften up and that follow. I need to beat you. Luckily, the black players not want to mess with us right now. By the time, purple's not breaking me as huge. They got their own problems. Five trips for you. Please, no card trade on three. It's a lot e I can pr I can protect a lot of this 47's life if I move it away over there. And then once you card trade, they move back. 15. I mean, actually, no card trade on three is huge for me because I can actually just stack right here. But this plus 15 should beat your 23. And they were mostly problems solved, actually. Yeah, that's huge. For, neither set of card trade at three. Works out fine. We take you out like this. We lost 13 more than you did. But it's not a problem. We will go over to here. I just accidentally hit the button on my mouse to adjust my sensitivity because it feels floatier. I'm, I'll need to mess around with that, I guess. Let's get this. I don't know if this is the kill on you. It's probably not. But just getting you out of this side of the board is a big deal for us. It is the kill. It is the kill. Four more cards, immediate card trade that's huge for us. Plus 42 for us, that's massive. Uh, I'm not sure which matters. Don't know if it matters which ones we trade in here. Um, we'll do these, sure. We might as well break the black player right now to hurt their bonus a bit. I think purple's gonna be still focused on them. And then I can work on a one point hold for half the board right here. They lost two more than I did. Hit him here again. I lost, they lost two more than I did. We start working on fortifying. Oh, I should get that four out of there now that I realize it. I'm actually gonna protect here in case a big card trick comes my way. Keep that 51 stack nice and ugly. Hopefully the purple doesn't... I need purple to not... I should have stacked some here and got that out here, but... We won the race to secure our side of the board. Kind of makes sense. Ooh, that 45 troop trade-in with good dice does break us here. But then that does still leave them susceptible to purple. And who knows how far away they are to get towards us. How many troops has purple been getting? Purple's been getting... Six. They still have their capital. Um, wait, I've got one, two capitals. But somebody has three. So you took Purple's capital like just now and I didn't notice it, or last turn they got six rounding bonus. Here it comes. Good dice breaks us. Probably does. Do they get good dice and break us? No, they don't. Okay. Great. Honestly, it's probably their best move. If they hit me there, then Purple just rolls them. 
if they want to come back for this, they don't mess with that. Um, oh, they put everything they have right there. Purple got eight. I'm going to have to card trade and slap that, I think. And I'm going to have to push purple out of my side, even that might feel kill. I don't want to... F that might feed the kill to the black player if not careful, which could end us. I think this is like everything the black player has. Safety troop trade in luck. Oh, if they stack it here, I'm in a lot of trouble. Purple might have seen that I conquered the side of the board. Yeah, they saw yellow get eliminated. If purple's smart, they're going to go around. They're going to stack some here and do this. And they might have figured, seen that black stack all this right here. They're taking a lot of trade in. I really should have pushed that out of there last turn. Don't give them a chance to stack my side. Luckily, they did not. That's really lucky for us. I think purple's hyper fixated on black. Even though I messed up, like, it, we're all we're all learning the game here, all various skill levels. And luckily for me, Purple has been so fixed on the black player to leave me alone. And they don't realize that the black player is now eyes on me and they could sit back and hold some bonuses or whatever. Or maybe they don't want to stack here because then I'd be brutality, right? I got a card trade in five. Maybe that's what they did because I got a card trade in five. They want to face my wrath. Nine, 29 troops is huge for us. Card trade in five gives us a lot. Let's not waste the extra plus two there. Let's just do these guys right. I'm not sure what matters. I don't know if it improves your odds of anything. Uh, I, th I think it's, it's eight or nine. It gets this. Come on, I can't see. Uh, eight or nine gets that. Now I got to recenter the camera. OCD. We stack this here. Come on, stack it there. We get purple out of here, so I don't want them up in my business. Now I have an extra three over there. I don't. Uh, you don't have a card trade on two. So do I really want to antagonize you? No. Oops, forgot, forgot to fortify. All right, I just messed it up there. That's fine. I'm not going to attack that 78 because you don't have a card trade. So it's unlikely you're like your 90 is not going to hit my 127. And if I'm... Oh, you're going to try that? No, no, no. Okay. See, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for that if I like leave you alone, you keep attacking purple a bit. And you know, like why? Because I think that's everything black player has or darn near. So why hit them and then give a chance, you know, and then all of a sudden... Uh, I'm fighting purple and black at the same time. I can take time to fo fortify, keep my advantage of my plus 29 bonus, move my 7 over here, my 7 over here, get more and more over here, and um, you know, next turn we'll hit here because we got to get a card. Start, you know, gradually move my way forward. Maybe let these two guys implode a little bit. Maybe they're like holding a grudge match against each other. You know, let them fight a bit. Plus 5 for you. Um, you got your capital back with that card trade, I see, because it's down to 2. So you got your capital back, which means you're probably low on troops. And the black player might be fixing to get that back. I need to make sure you're not going to get a cheeky elimination on the purple for a bunch of cards and get real strong all of a sudden. Could be a problem for us. I see. Let you guys hopefully fight each other a little bit. Okay, yeah, they slammed you up there, which means if purple attacked there, which means the black player does not have this bonus. Don't have to worry about that. 32 troops for us is massive. No card trade here. Let's stack these over here. Brain froze for a second. Do I go scouting? Do I do a little snooping? Um, I think purple broke most of black's bonuses, so we're just gonna chill right there. Purple knows the threat that I am on the board now. Um, maybe I should try and eliminate sooner here before they start card trading in massive amounts and ganging up on me. Only nine for you. You're not doing so strong. Um, it'd be helpful if I have a better idea who's where. Maybe the black player is exclusively down here. Maybe we attack through here. Hit this, 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 leave three. Uh, hit this, split into here. Check out all this. Or maybe it's like... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if we're at. If the black player isn't down here, I'm worried about I feed a kill to somebody. I'm worried I feed a kill and they get a big card trade. If we're lucky, they're really low on troops, and I can just clean up this round. And I think what we do is we hit here, go through all this. Um, do I want to split? Of course, do I split when I'm here, or just have the 160, whatever's left of this, just go through here. And if we don't eliminate them here, then just fortify it back over here, and let them roll, let them roll through again, whatever. I'm, I'm mostly, this turn, looking to, like, find where they're at. And if it looks weak in here, just slap, like, 20 in there, and have a, or I'm going to slap 20 in there. 33 is huge. Card trade in four, just in case. We can probably take him out this turn, I think. I think if we're lucky, we can take him out this turn. So we're going to go uh, just kind of like crazy here. Attack this. I believe the order was this. And the, oh, that actually doesn't connect the way it did. That's a non-territory there. That's fine. We hit this. Leave three there. Attack down to here. Down to here. We hit this. Leave three. 
found a cap. That's probably where you guys have been doing most of your fighting. You could also try and cap run this. You hit this. I know where the last cap's at. Let's actually try and cap run this. I don't need to eliminate you. I just need to get the last cap. It's cap symbol. I often forget this. But I remember this. I remember from the beginning of the game, the last cap was right here. Oh, and there it is. It's so beautiful. Wait for it. And there it is. You'll love to see it. But I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time, unless you want to see the ranks. Let's take a look here. Wait for it. And beginner. Purple was an expert. Yellow was an expert. Red was an expert. I just dunked on three experts. Oh my goodness. I feel so I feel so proud. But there it is. You love to see it. And uh see you next time.